Yes, so welcome back. We made it to form three, classification two as our first topic. Classification one was the second topic in form one. And so make sure you check the description of this video or um, the link at the top for the recorded class of the same. And so uh, under this topic, we are going to actually state briefly the general principles of classification of living organisms and state general characteristics of each of the five kingdoms so you notice this is uh, quite a background on what we did in classification one so let's see what we can review before we proceed to mention all the other objectives that uh, are required of us so classification is a process of placing and arranging organisms into groups according to their similarities and differences so you can see that they are, they are placed organisms are placed in seven major taxonomic units we have kingdom we have the division class order family genus and species so kingdom is the first and the largest rank and there is all that that comes with what we probably covered in classification one or the introduction to classification two. So having understood all that, then our next objective would be to state the main characteristics of uh, Anthropoda codata, state the main characteristics of major division of plantae, state the characteristics of classes of spermatophyta, describe the main characteristics of classes of Anthropoda codata, uh, use observable external features to construct simple dichotomous keys of plants and animals and finally use ready use already constructed dichotomous key to identify organisms that's a lot of fun and you don't have to miss that so make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you're notified when we make that upload of that one class see you in our next class